Hi. One of my favorite offens is Fist Side. I run it over six seasons right now and uh, it always creates me great results. That offense was installed by coach David Blatt of Maccabi Tel Aviv 2013-14 campaign, which uh, uh, bring uh, a lot of su success to Maccabi team. Uh, I saw that offense uh, in, uh, as I said, 2014, and I immediately installed it in my team, which I coached at that time, Camcats, in uh, Germany. And since then, I run that offense in every team. Uh, it's a great spacing. It creates lots of options in uh, on perimeter, but also for inside game for the post players and make all players on the court involved. So basically, in this offense, every player gets the ball and can can create something uh, for itself and for the team which we are going to see uh, in this video. So, the offense starts with a screen, one big man for another, while point guard cuts. Then we have the first handoff with the wing player and comes the second handoff with the second wing player who tries to create something out of the pick and roll which happened right after the second handoff. We see this how it goes in slow motion. So there is a handoff, there is another, and there is a great, maybe a little bit late, uh, pick and roll. But again, a great solution and a great execution. This is how it looks in real time. So you see, it's a great spacing, great opportunity, and great chance to score again in the real time with a step back finish. Coach Pascal of Zenit ran something similar this year in Euroleague against uh, FS which had two handoffs and a pick and roll but also used uh, so-called Lithuanian cut. In the real time, it looks like this. It's a great motion offense, great spacing, and lots of opportunities for every player. So, uh, as we said, there is a pin down, one big guy for another, pass on top, my first option is always to see if four can shoot or pass inside for five. We can, we have a, a good finish. Now, player one can cut on the opposite block if we want to play a Spanish pick and roll or can cut on the same side or on the opposite side. It doesn't matter. Now, we have a first handoff and pop up with player four for player two. Timing and spacing is of essence. Player 2 will drive the ball all over the 3-point line to the opposite wing, while player 5 will follow to set the screen just after handoff happens. In continuation of that offense, we will have a Spanish pick and roll and solution to find an option in order to, in order to score out of this. This is how my team executed. This is Kemkets Kemnitz in 2014-15 campaign. So basically at the beginning when we when we try to establish that that offense for the first time. Now in this case you will see the opponent hedge out and we find an open look for a mid-range shot. A little bit later in uh, Alba Julia this is again how we, how we run that offense it was handoff, handoff, pick and roll came right on time, good offense, and we had two on one situation on the weak side. We run something similar 
while I was coaching in Sneifeld in Iceland. Again, good opportunity and good lap. The women's team of Sneifeld run that very often, uh, which was really good situation for one of my best players. She read and react that switch very good, you see, the defense switch, and we find an open, open shot. We run this offense very often while uh, I was coaching in Albania, and it always create us some good looks. We run this offense with the Spanish pick and roll, which I showed earlier on the graphs. It creates us some good spacing and mismatches. Like in this situation here, when we find a mismatch on top, four and three point shot. You see, pin down, player comes on top, we have handoff and the pick and roll. The defense plays side defense, but we finish with the layup and two free throws. In this situation, you will see a good option out of this because uh, opponent try to go under the screen, which we punish with an open with an open three-pointer. We continue to run this offense uh, this season in Super Atom with Calmer Saints with Spanish pick and roll option you see we have an easy layup and the point guard wide open on the three-point line. So, as I said, this is great offense, I love to run it, my teams like to run it, it's fun, it gives every player an opportunity to hold the ball, to run and to create something. If, even if you don't have uh, post players who are dominant, who can uh, score, it's really important that they just set a good screen, roll or pop defense of the defense, and then you will find a good option to execute this offense. So, until the next video, stay cool.